Okay, this is a uh, flying by the seat of my pants test. Um, I've taken one of the Rikon carbide tip scraper shafts and I had to kind of modify the end a little bit. I don't know what this is going to show there. Um, to take a hunter style cup carbide cutter. Uh, what it means is I just have to round the end off a little bit and put a bit of a bevel on it. So the idea is to see how well this works as a gouge. Uh, I should be able to rub the bevel the same as I would on a regular gouge and uh, hopefully produce some good cuts. But we will see. Okay, I got a piece of, I don't know, about four inch or three and a half inch square maple uh, put in my uh, chuck. And uh, I'm going to be running the lathe at about 750. I'm, I'm going to see what happens. Just going to do some uh, truing up first and then maybe we'll try some hollowing. Well, I've read that you should always angle the cutter, so this is exactly what I've done, and we'll see what happens. That's one way. I'll come back again. slowly um, but I picked a piece of wood with a lot of really wild grain in it um, it's doing quite a nice job actually oh we'll carry on see this on camera or not but uh, these tools have a bevel on each side on the back of the shaft so that's more or less what I'm going with now you can see the tool is bouncing around a little bit does produce the odd nice curly shade in there. I'm not um, 
really impressed to be honest. Anyway, we'll stop it and have a look at what the finish is like on the car. Small amount of tear out. Uh, it really feels rough. It looks even rougher. Now, like I said, I picked a piece of wood with some really bad grain, so uh, I guess a comparison would be now to switch over and use a gouge, right? So let's do that. Okay, so this is uh, my regular half inch bowl gouge. Um, I'm ashamed to say it's not very sharp at the moment. We've just had a grinder malfunction, so I don't have a grinder. But um, I think uh, just for the point of this test, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Same lathe speed. <clears throat> Probably about the same amount of material. Maybe a little bit more than the 16 on inch, that's about it. Okay, we'll see what that looks like. Yeah, as you can see, tear out, tear out, more tear out. Um, so to be honest, um, I think maybe, especially here, the carboy tool is maybe a little bit better. But let's uh, go back on the carboy now and see if I can clean that up. Run at the same lathe speed. Taking a very light cut. Okay, I must admit I am a little bit uh, surprised with the outcome. There is still a little bit of tear out there, but nowhere near. Oh, a bit of a rough patch there still. But back here, it's all cleaned up nicely. So, you know what? I'm going to uh, get the diamond hone out and touch up my bowl gouge and see if we can improve on the bowl gouge one. Just did a touch up with a 400 grit hone and we'll see what happens now. <clears throat> Well, as you can see, we have some nice curves. And I'm sorry to say, the gouge wins. Okay. <coughs> got to say I'm surprised but I guess you know it's like everything else 
seeing is believing. That is definitely a far better surface than came off the carbide. So there you have it. Okay, I'm just cleaning up the end with a straight push cut using the, the ball guard. I can see a shine on the wood, so I think that's pretty good. Yeah, nice and smooth, no tear out, no nothing. So let's see what happens with the carbide. Now this could be a bit awkward because I'm going to be probably be blocking the camera. I'm going to have to move the tourist back over a little bit. Technically that was cutting against the grain, so now I've got a, a dip there. Let's see what happens when I do a core cut. It certainly cuts nicely. I think I would definitely be using this to do following uh, on boxes. Not a very good finish, um, but that might be the wood. I know there's lots of really weird grain in there, but even so, it certainly was uh, taking the wood out easy. Um, let's see what we can do with the ball gouge. So it's a bit awkward because I'm going to be probably blocking the camera. catch on the last bit there I was uh, hmm, definitely a lot smoother sorry I I really can't turn around and say a carbide is any better and I would definitely say it's worse so I don't know I don't know what to tell you people it's um, it's certainly not something I was expecting I was thinking the carbide would be really good doing something like this in fact it proved to be worse than a regular high-speed steel gouge so uh, I don't know maybe I'm just a, ga a, a, a gouge guy I don't know it's one of those things I guess it, different individuals find tools that they're happy with and uh, that's what they stick with so yeah maybe the tool rest is a little bit high but even then you know both tools were cutting at the same tool rest height same lathe speed same piece of wood and I would expect similar results 
but to be honest, there's no comparison between the gouge and the cowboy tip. Um, cowboy tip is a little bit more, what can we say, gentle to use. Uh, the gouge, like I said, I did get a, a real coarse, almost a catch cut on the very end because of the height of the tool rest. But um, the actual finish on the wood far superior to what the carbide was. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for looking.